welcome today's decision. We are relieved that Mr. Assange will not be extradited to the United States. We share concerns about his health and his mental health. We have been highlighting this for quite some time that he has been vulnerable, that we have, we have stated and I'll repeat today that his extradition was a possible matter of life or death. So in this regard, this was the right decision. decision. But we were concerned by many other elements of what we heard this morning. It is very clear that on substantive grounds, this country would have handed Mr. Assange over to the United States to face hey. trial there. We disagree with the judge's assessment that this case was not politically motivated. We disagree with her assessment that it was not about free speech. We remain convinced that Mr. Assange has been targeted for his contributions to journalism. As we all know, the publication of the leaked information informed extensive public interest reporting. The public had a right to these stories. And the public still has a right to these type of stories. We're concerned that this decision leaves the door open for further prosecutions in this Guard. If this happened to somebody that did not suffer from the mental health issues uh, that Mr. Assange suffers, they could easily be handed over. Somebody else could just as easily be made of an example of in the same way. So regardless of the fact that he will now not go to the United States, a clear signal has been sent that the arms of the U.S. can reach everywhere, that journalists everywhere have to be a bit concerned about what they publish, particularly related to national security issues pertaining to the United States government. I would have liked to see a stronger position from this court and indeed the U.K. government in support of press freedom, of freedom of expression, of human rights in this regard. So we continue to make a point on the broader principles here and note as well that uh, the, the Espionage Act must be reformed. It lacks a public interest defense. If anybody else is pursued in this way, they cannot adequately defend themselves. No, no publisher, no journalist, and no source. And here too in this country, the Official Secrets Act lacks a public interest defense. So until these broader issues are, are addressed, journalists remain at risk in this country, in the United States, and internationally. Hello everybody, Kyle James Lee here with the Each Alliance. A UK judge in London today ruled that WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange will not be extradited to the United States to face charges under the Espionage Act. But the judge's ruling wasn't due to Assange being a journalist, it was because of Assange's mental health condition and suicide risk. Because of this, the fight isn't over for Julian Assange and it could have dire implications for other journalists. Under the Espionage Act, journalists are barred from revealing classified information. And under the Espionage Act, it could have grave implications for journalists working for online publishers such as even the Washington Post, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, and many others. Anonymous, many others, and Assange's partner and mother of his two children, Stella Morris, have been urging outgoing President Donald Trump to pardon Julian Assange, along with a pardon for NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden. If President Trump doesn't pardon them, then pressure must also be placed on incoming President Joe Biden to give them these pardons. Journalism is not a crime and photography is not a crime. This is Kyle James Lee with the Aegis Alliance. Until next time, thanks for watching.